Also, some strategic House of Representatives committees as to commence legislative business by holding the inaugural meeting today, uh, Thursday, uh, on Thursday, uh, the 2nd of November 2023, in the House. The pledge to deliver on the mandate expected by the leadership of the House, added by the Speaker, Right Honorable Tadjin Abbas. These committees include the Committees on Malaria, HIV and Tuberculosis, Urban Development, Regional Planning and the Ecological Fund Committee. By way of legislation, to back up the activities of this uh, Ecological Fund and equally uh, sanitize and sensitize the way and manner this ecological fund has been utilized. Over time, this uh, fund was being used and the releases are becoming almost 100%. But the efficacy is significant. Normally, it doesn't commiserate with the releases. And uh, this committee, it is our sole responsibility to make sure that uh, whatever we are going to do, that equity must be respected because in any part of the country, today, the ecological problem is one of our greatest challenge. Even today, there was a motion regarding to green world, which uh, whether you are from the north or you are from the south, <coughs> this is affecting all of us. Areas where development has even reached, there have been cases of several distortions. There have been cases of conversions. Areas as designated as residential could convert itself to be commercial or even industrial. And when that happens, it negates and will continue to negate the essence of planning and urban development. At best, we have had slums because of the challenges, but what we find, what we have are cities lacking in the very basics relative to planning and its development. I am also concerned by the havoc malaria is wreaking on our populace. And we are going to push and advocate that malaria drugs be subsidized. If not made free, at all government health centers. It is no rocket science that most Nigerians are affected by malaria, yet access to drugs are not readily available. Why the ones available are very exorbitant. The alarming rate of malaria infections in our country, declaring emergency of malaria will not be out of place. We will also address the proliferation of fake, drug, fake and substandard drugs, especially malaria drugs in our country, with a view to identifying the sources and imposing penalties on them. Members of the committees say uh, they are ready to tackle current challenges uh, in Dublin Nigerians and ensure that the people's interests are taken into consideration in line with President Bola Ahmed Tunubu's renewed hope agenda and the 10th House legislative agenda as initiated by the Speaker of the 10th House, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.